Pat Love back from Love Healing Hearts, here with Jonathan and Phantom, a beautiful married couple in the Lord. I want you to hear the rest of what we all got to say. Okay. <laughs> well, Pat, I, I just want to, you know, just wanted to uh, commend you, you know, on being a warrior and getting yourself free up from all of the snakes and all of the demons that try to entangle us in this world and in this life. You know, I'm so glad that you were able to make a contact with the spirit of Christ Jesus, you know, and to um, receive the healing because, you know, like, like I have told you before, my wife and I have been watching YouTube channels and we've been relating to you, you know, and more healing is coming to us through you. So, you know, just want to commend you and I'm glad that you're a warrior and that God has chosen to do this work. So Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. that I appreciate it from God because I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for him. Hallelujah. But thank you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, my you. lady, Miss 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 Fanta, yes, Miss Fanta Lee, Miss Fanta Rosa, Miss. Mm -hmm. Oh, I make up all kind of names for yours. <laughs> <laughs> you should see this lady smile. She's got the most beautiful beaming smile, oh, and right. and she's got a beautiful voice. Whoa. Okay, go on. Oh, <laughs> you know I um. I just, I, I just think God is so good. Um, God is so good. Um, he, he's truly um, delivered me and just made me new. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and just given me so much and um, each and every day. Growing up in a small family, growing up in the household without a father, um, in my household, my mom being a single uh, uh, parent, just you know, it, it, it has, you see it so much in our community. Yeah. Um, but I would like to speak about um, how it impacted me as um, a, a young girl and then a woman. Um, you know, it played out in my relationship. Oh, yeah. It, it played out in relationship after relationship after relationship. And, you know, uh, when you mentioned... Um, before the uh, rejection, I really believe, I feel that that's really what it was, the fear of rejection. You know, see, my father left when I was three. A rejection, so you said. Spirit of rejection. rejection. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I later learned that it was an issue with the three rejection. Mm -hmm. You know, um, my father, you know, left when my mother and father got divorced when I was three years old. So I really had no remembrance, no memory. Mm. Um, at all in any way, shape, or form. So I couldn't draw anything or any type of um, uh, just any memory, you know, uh, you know wow. birthday or anything. So, and I didn't really feel really I didn't feel that that impact it. I just pushed it back out of my, I mean, I didn't feel that I was, it really bothered me at all. Right. Not until I began to experience relationships, then I began to. See it play out, right? Um, the the uh, what I was longing for and what I was desiring. You know, I grew up in the church. Um, I got married. Um, I was about twenty two. You know, um, and then uh, and then right my first marriage when I was twenty two, and then um, had a daughter. Um, I grew um, growing up in the church. Well, through my mom was the type of I'll back then, my mother was the type of mother who um, you know we were all raised with you know, two other sisters. So she um, really was um, I would say she was strict. Yeah. Um, yeah. We I really didn't want to. I guess I wanted to make sure my mom was happy. You know, I wanted right. her to, to 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 be happy with. How, how I live my life, or I just, you know, um, I was wanted to please her. Right, you know? right. I was gonna okay. say you were in a pleaser mindset. Gotcha. Yeah, you know, but I really was. So I, I, you know, I wanted to make sure that okay, obviously I was married before I had a child, and I, I did. I was so young, you right, know, right. Um, and that, and that, and that marriage, you know, it did not last at all. Um, for five years, but then I found, I, you know, we 
had ended up divorcing. And then um, I saw myself, I, I looked back, you know, and there were times where I had wanted to, because I had started in the church, but there were times I wanted to go to, ch- I wanted to go to church then with, I was designing for us to have a church, um, uh, uh, us to have a church relationship, just for us to be, you know, as a commune together, you know, pray together. This was because that's what I was raised. I was I was seeing that in the household. You know, mm-hmm. my mother and uh, my sisters and I, and then my grandmother, we we prayed together. And so my mother would talk to us about when we were younger, our future, you know, husband or what. Now you want you want this. It all she almost painted a picture of like a. This is too perfect of a picture. You I know? got you. I got you. You weren't ready for reality. You were looking for the fantasy. Right. <laughs> right. You know, I got you. So when I, so when I get into so the, the, the first marriage, you know, I was looking for that. I was looking for the the um the the the, 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 the fantasy. Man. Yeah. Right. But it wasn't that. I, I was not prepared for for that, for the ups and downs. I did not no, we did not know how to cope with that. So anyway, I moved on, and then um, I was going to, by that time, I had you know, my, my uh, daughter, and I began to experience relationships, um, still looking for love. Yes, yes, yes. Looking for love in the wrong places. Yes, tell me about it, girl. Mm. And, and the wrong places, and I'm, and this girl was looking for a father uh, role, a, a, a male to take that place of the missing father. That I really didn't feel that was bothered me. I really feel that that was, I was even bothered that I didn't have a father because it just didn't come up. You know, I hadn't seen my father, and, but that's really what I was doing in hindsight. I was looking for that. You were looking for a father and every man you got in a relationship with, not even knowing what a father was, but the need was there, and that's what you were digging for. Gotcha. That's exactly, that's what I was digging for, but little did I know that really caused a lot of stress and experience, traumatic, I mean, just really not good experiences in my life because... I was going from relationship to relationship, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and I knew that I loved, I, I, honestly, I was not, I was looking for, I thought a husband, another husband, you know, because mm-hmm. I just didn't want, I, I knew my heart, and I knew I loved, and I wanted uh, the marriage, and the, the two, you know, I, want, I still wanted that. Right, you know? right. But the men who I was not on that. They were not, <laughs> here I am falling in love quick and, you know, in, in a hurry. And that's not what they really, you know, they, they didn't want what I wanted. I didn't so once again, I mean, again, I just found myself in relationship. And then honestly, I found myself down at the damn abortion clinic. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to curse. But I found myself having abortion Right, like a few right abortions because I made the wrong decision. Right, right, I hear you. And that is not something that I even wanted to do. I found myself in these situations, you mm-hmm. know. Right. Um. And I that was the that was really low the low points in my life, low times in my life, because I never wanted to do that. Right. It was right. actually a, a friend of the family who uh, went to because I didn't want to go to my mother, you know, I know. about that. I know. About those things. So I went and talked to him, and he was just really kind of like, well, why don't you just, you know, he, he, he opened that door because I didn't, I, I, that wasn't something I was, I just wanted to talk to him about it and, and maybe he could help me, you know, be able to. I don't know. I, I don't know what, you know, I was looking for uh, an answer, but I didn't think about that. You right. Know, until right. He, and so I found myself, it's, you know, having an abortion, you know, right. and I, I, I hated it. I, hate, I hated myself for doing it, but I did it. Let me ask you I a did. question, Fanta. Does that still hurt you now? 
You know, I ended up, after the third one, I ended up talk, going to God with it in my own um, time, uh, uh, like, many, like three or four different times, I went to God in prayer and meditation and forgiveness. I went to God and I faced God. I prayed about it. I was fasting about it. I did go through a point where I was in my life when I said, I, I, I really, this is like enough is enough. You know, I don't want to go down this this road of um, promiscuity because I was being promiscuous. You know? Right, right, right. I got and, you. Um, you know, just honestly, I was, uh, and I, I just did not want that. I had a daughter then, and so I, I took I took it upon myself to really start doing to do some heavy praying and heavy repenting. So it does not affect me now. Good, good. Sense. That's yeah. what I wanted to hear. Good. It okay, go not. on. <laughs> That's good. Mm -mm. Yeah, because I was always afraid that it would, but I knew that once I because you know once I decided to just really go to God and just really pour out my heart and just really just, uh, you know, I really didn't, and no one knew That's except it. for a friend who I went with and then the, um, the, the, the male friend of, um, you know, who I went with down there. No one really, no one knew right. about it, you know, so I just kept it to myself. So, um, <laughs> It's amazing, you know, it's amazing mm -hmm. what that does to a young woman. Honestly, it's just trial and error. Right. When you don't right. have that. Um, and you look that covering of a father, yes. yes. Yes, but then I started to realize, you know what? <laughs> it's within me. It's within, I need to love, truly love myself and truly know that God is my father. You said he it right my, there. That's right. That's it. Yes. He is my, he, that he is my all in all. And so once I started to truly just dedicate wholeheartedly my life and, and just my, my, just everything that I did to the Lord, mm -hmm. you know, and just every day, you know, and just really repenting and just really going back and just observing all of my um, my actions and not, and making and just really uh, observing and just not acting, not jumping into a relationship. Mm. So I really, you know, and just laying, just sitting back and just really being with myself. Being right. With right. Yeah. right. Being with yourself. Yes. Oh. Yes. Whoa. Let me let me add to that real quick. Since I interrupted you, I'm sorry. <laughs> but that's one of the things we don't realize. God, one of the first things God makes us become acquainted with is ourselves. We don't yeah. when we come to the Lord, we don't even know who we are. And right. God will take us through and he'll let life happen to show us where our weaknesses are where mm -hmm. our strengths are, and why we suffer from some of the things we suffer from, why we mm -hmm. have some of the idiosyncrasies we have, why we have mm -hmm. sore spots, why certain things get on our nerves. God knows mm -hmm. us way better than we do. And yeah. he knows what some things need to be, he knows what needs to be done. Um. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna let you go on because I I can go I you know I, I can go on a rabbit trail and I wanna I wanna stick to your story but that's something a lot of people don't realize is once God if they let God do it He can get you by yourself and that's when He works His best work when you don't have a man as a distraction or a date as as a distraction you don't have a mm -hmm. bunch of nonsense going on sometimes he'll make you penniless and keep you in the house with no car and no money so he can get you to himself because that's the only time when you're really going to grow and you're really going to get to know who you are and who God yeah. wants you to be okay go on sweetheart yeah. i'll shut up <laughs> that's okay no I'm I love how you just 
really giving me giving me your perspective. I, I do because that fear of reje- that fear of rejection is big, and I really didn't know. Yeah, it is. That, that it was there. It is. It's know? a horrible fear. It is. I, I don't. I yeah. didn't really feel like because I didn't think that. But I guess it's, I guess the root once again was the father. You know, I, I know that it was me. You know. Um, so that's why I put up. It, uh, uh, I put up with relationships I shouldn't have put up with. Right. When I should have left long time ago. Right. And that's what a lot of us women do, don't we, ladies? We put up with relationships we should never have even started in the first place. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. And it's all because... You know, Neediness. We're needy. For- We're needy. We're needy. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I never wanted to think of myself, honestly, as needy. Me I either. Me either. Me either. I know. You're almost embarrassed to think about it, but it's true. Right. See, I always rejected that needy. I'm not needy. <laughs> I told the Lord one time, I said, Lord, he gave me a dream about a woman. Uh, uh-huh. She was uh, asking this this boyfriend of hers to do something for her. He was all uh-huh. muscular, muscle bound. Oh, woman, I ain't got time. I got stuff to do. I ain't got time to mess with you. And she's saying, uh-huh. but I just need you to to uh, to jump my battery so I can get to work. I got to get to work. Uh-huh. And I don't want to uh-huh. be late. And he's like, all right. And his hair is colored all this weird color, and he's all mm-hmm. muscle bound and, and, and a muscle shirt and you know mm-hmm. and you could tell just live one glass the brother was full of himself mm-hmm. so wow. sure enough here I come mm-hmm. a total stranger and I ask him I mean <laughs> I had to tell this I ask uh-huh. him um I, I, no, yeah I asked the lady who was fussing at him uh excuse me I hate to interrupt you but could you tell me where so and so was you know, that part wasn't important. I was supposed to watch these two in the dream. Uh, and and she said, well, so-and-so might know. And she said, so-and-so. And he said, what? I told you I'm busy. Now, check this out. He didn't know me from Adam. She mm-hmm. said she needs to know if you know a so-and-so if they live around here. And he came downstairs, took the time to answer my questions wow. when he wouldn't help his lady who he was screwing in the bed with, oh, jump man. her battery. Now, now I'm, I'm telling you, this is this is what I'm picking up in this dream. Okay, mm. so I'm getting annoyed with her because she's putting up with him. And he says, well, let's go on in, in, in her house and sit down and relax. She's got to go to work, and he's telling us to go in her house. And she's dumb enough to let us in, and he goes and plops in her recliner, and tells her to get him a glass uh something to drink. Uh, dumb diddy dum dum goes and does it. And I'm looking yeah. at her, I'm ready to choke her. Can't you yeah. tell this man doesn't think of, he doesn't care about you a hill of beans? And he's just yeah. take I mean, oh, I was just so I I, I was enraged. Oh, you yeah. just don't know how enraged I was. Yeah. And yeah. this woman start and I asked her, I said, why do you put up with that? And she starts mm. crying because I love him. Oh, I wanted to slap her then. Well, when yeah. when when she said that, I woke up, right? Yeah, I woke up. And the first thing I said, Lord, why would you have me dream about a stupid woman like that? that is ridiculous. Mm. I was that angry. You know what the Lord said? He literally yeah. spoke to me. That is you. Mm. Wow, look at that. You talk about, I said, Lord, you have never hurt my feelings, but you hurt my feelings that time. Oh, I couldn't believe I looked that bad. Oh, but see how God showed me myself, how sorry, needy, and desperate I was. And I was, I couldn't deny it. That's right. You know, he, that's the thing about it. It's just, um, mm. <laughs> God has to show us 
<laughs> he really does. He has he has to show us our our, our self honesty. Mm -hmm. I, I get thanks that I was never in an abusive relationship. Right, um, right, right. Thank God for that. That's and, right. I wasn't in a, 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 a physically abusive relationship. There was a relationship where uh, I, 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 like, uh, I was raped, you know. Mm -hmm. um, that was a one-time thing. I just thank God that, because when God gave me this, there were times when God just, he, I, he blessed me with discernment. Yes. So there were times when I knew that I got out of something in the nick of time, mm -hmm. you know. Got out of us, and I, I thank God for that. But one thing, when I started doing the, God started healing me, Pat. Um, I, I wanted to, honestly, I wanted to see where the generational curses were, and I looked at my family, and I saw that my 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 mother, my aunt, my grandmother, all of them had failed marriages. Mm. See, and that's one of the reasons why I kept wanting to go back into, you know, just experience different relationships. I Recycling the drama, them. yeah. Right. But I wanted to break that generation of hope, but mm -hmm. I was going about it the wrong way. Right, right. Because I, I, I did not want to be a, a, a victim. I mean, with me, a, a woman, one of the women who um, whose marriage didn't succeed. But I was going, because I have a sister whose marriage, she had been married for 4, 13, uh, 14 years now and i'm like nothing I, and i'm so happy for his beautiful children and beautiful husband and she somehow the curse i mean the generational curse is i mean she like dodged it you know and i and, I, and it, it, I, it, I felt like it had it had at one point fallen on me but when i started to really truly stop and get out and felt and knew that i okay let me not let me get out of a relationship and just be with myself and the Lord and start and just really um, be rooted in the word and just be in prayer meditation. And then God will send my husband to me. You know, we Stop right together. there. You said it right there. Now stop because look at the husband yeah. you got now. We're going to continue yeah. this conversation on the next video. You guys go pee pee, get your coffee, whatever you got to do and come right back. We'll be right back.